All right, so here we have a titration, and the best way to approach a titration is with the equation. Um, basically, it says at, at the end of the titration, your acid amount has to equal your mole amount. And the way we figure out how many moles of acid we have is Na, which we'll get right back to, times Ma times Va. And what this says is Na is the number of H pluses in the formula of the acid. Um, protons that can be donated. Na is the concentration of the acid. Va is the volume of the acid. So these three things multiply and tell you how many moles of acid are present at neutralization. And this has to equal how many moles of base are at the end. So that's just Nv times Mv times Vb. And that's pretty much what this equation is. So if we look at our equation, what volume of 0.4 molar HCl? So 0.4 molar HCl, that is Ma is the molarity of the acid. HCl is the acid. If I look at the formula, it has one proton to donate. So Na equals one. And it just has the H. That's it. And it's required to neutralize 50 milliliters of 0.6 molar NaOH. Well, 50 milliliters, that is the volume of the base, Vb. 0.6 molar is the molarity of the base, Mb. And looking at NaOH, there's just one OH minus there. So Nb equals 1. And so the only thing that's currently missing is the volume of the acid, Va. So this is just algebraic substitution. Uh, you can kind of go about it however you want. If you want to plug the numbers in right away, which a lot of you like to do, I guess, you do 1 times 0.4 times Va equals 1 times 0.6 times 50. And then it just becomes um, substituting at 0.4 Va equals 0.6 times 50 or 30, and then you divide both sides by 0.4. Va, so 30 divided by 0.4, I get 75 milliliters. So I need 75 milliliters of this acid to neutralize the base. And this should make some sense because 0.4 molars HCl, that is a weaker concentration than the base, so you need more acid to neutralize the base because the base is stronger. Now, granted, this quick analysis only works if they both have the same number of um, n values, because otherwise it's hard to do this comparison in your head. But anyway, that is how you calculate the endpoint of a titration. So until next time, I am Derek Tanova. Have a delightful day. A delightful day.